Good morning, everyone. For my two minutes, I wanted to research tips for writing an effective email, and I wanted to share what I learned with you. Uh, considering email communication is such a large part of all our jobs, we want to make sure that we are being as efficient as possible. Uh, we want to write an email one time and have the reply come back addressing every point that we need attended to. So when reading an email, do you like large paragraphs with lots of text? The answer is probably no. It's hard to skim. Bullet points with highlights, underlines, or bold fonts work really well to draw a reader's eyes to the important topics. And if appropriate, use subheadings too. I want to commend all the advisors that I see using good examples of this in your marketing emails. Those ones look great to me. Um, one thing I'm personally guilty of is sending longer emails. So I just want to say um, for anyone that's noticed that I am going to work on making my emails more succinct and reader friendly because in the end it will not only benefit the reader but me as well since all my points will be addressed. So if you struggle like me, make a point to try and keep your emails as to the point as possible. Now, as my eighth grade English teacher always said, keep any writing sample like a lady's skirt long enough to cover the important parts, but short enough to keep it interesting. <laughs> 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 swipe. Yeah, she she was a hoop. Not sure how appropriate that was, but it got the point across. Uh, do not use a single email to rattle off every idea you've ever had. Stick to one idea per chain. With that, I want to note that while email is an important part of our business, they are not our only form of communication. If your emails are consistently being ignored, then don't be afraid to hop on the phone or speak up in person to make sure you have everything you need. In my opinion, most important, always proofread your emails. Any typos could lead to a confused and unnecessary exchange that could have been avoided by a quick double check. Remember that it never hurts to be friendly. You could brighten someone's day with a simple message. Another thing I can be guilty of is replying too quick. Let some time pass just to make sure that your correspondent has had, had um, enough time to say everything that they wanted so that some jumbled chain isn't created and that no one is offended. So these were all my big takeaways from that. Um, I'm definitely going to start implementing these. And if I taught anyone even one thing, then that's great. So thank you for your time.